Jesus commanded in Matthew 28 that we are to go into all the world and make disciples of all nations and we're to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit. So this past month, in this month of December, Cornerstone Baptist Church has had the privilege of being able to send a team to Guatemala. Six of us were able to go. And by the grace of God, we were, we were able to do and accomplish the three goals that are set out in the Great Commission. Where one, where we wanted to evangelize in Guatemala City. Two, we wanted to find believers and disciple them. And three, we wanted to work towards making a church plan. So I'm very happy to be able to tell you about how good God has been and how He has answered our prayers for those things. Consider how He's answered the prayers of His people and how that shows His goodness, His faithfulness, and how you can trust Him to do more for Him and to serve Him more. One, when we talk about the evangelism that has happened in, uh, in Guatemala, I'm very glad to remember our conversations with a man named Fernando, who is an accomplished man, a, a surgeon in Guatemala, but he knows he's not right with the Lord, and he humbled himself to begin to ask questions about what it would take in order to follow the Lord. We were very encouraged to be able to speak to him about the cost of following Christ. The Lord also answered prayers concerning discipleship. We met a man named Ricardo Pablo, and he has been praying for a church for the past three years. He's been studying the Word of God and come to the convictions of the Reformed faith and reading good books like Grudem and Erickson and, and Burkhoff. And he believes the Lord has converted him through reading Louis Burkhoff's systematic theology, um, particularly about salvation. And so these past three years, he's been praying and looking and emailing various pastors in Latin America looking for a Reformed Baptist congregation in Guatemala, and he could not find one. But the Lord led us to him through a series of contacts, and we are very encouraged and we want to be able to be praying for him. We had a great opportunity to disciple him and we have plans on discipling him further through the internet. Finally, the, when we think about the baptizing, we are working towards a church plant, God willing, in August 2016. And in that, with that goal, we were able to have a service, a church service, and a number of people were able to come out to that, including Ricardo Pablo and others. And we want to begin to pray and look forward to that church plant. We were very uh, thankful to the Lord that we were able to worship Him together. And we hope that that service is a picture of things to come with Iglesia Biblica Antorcha, or Cornerstone Guatemala. So, Please continue to be in prayer for a church plant. Think about the faithfulness of God. If you are part of that group that is praying for the church plant, please pay, pay attention to the details of how good God is in answering our prayers and these goals of going and making disciples, teaching them all the things that the Lord has commanded and baptizing. We want to be able to see our prayers and desires answered in the future. So please partner with us in this endeavor with your prayers.